Hi, this is your girl Bombshell from All in One Beauty and Barber Salon, as well as Bombshell Cosmetic. Here I have my client, Zaria. And I'm going to be doing a full makeup over her uh, with lashes. Um, also using my makeup line as well as a couple more um, cosmetic lines. Um, she's more a natural girl. She don't like nothing real hard um, or harsh. Um, well, we'll add a little color to her lips. But um, as for the eyes, we're going to keep it natural. Um, so let's get started. The first thing you do, you will always make sure that your client's face is washed. So I always remove any excess um, makeup. It's just another lonely day. Another lonely day in California. Next, we always want to moisturize the skin. Next, I will be going in to define her eyebrows a little. Um, as you can see, they're pretty much have the fullness, but I'm just going to scorch them out a little bit. Next, I will be using MAC concealer just to give her eyebrows a little bit more detail.
and rain. Lord knows I will if I make it with you say faith. Hold on, have faith in me. I said the thing I have is yours. Next, you definitely want to blend it out. Now you can stop right there, but because I want to add a little darkness to the ends, I'm just going to bring in a little um, bra color to darken the sides, the ends. And pretty much you just blend it out. And you definitely want to keep this area open. Now 
Next, I'm going with a Max um, paint pot, and this is for like a I, um, eyeshadow base. And you just tap that on. And what this do, or does, it help um, to make your eyeshadow pop. And you can use a concealer brush doing this, or you can use your finger. Next, I'm going in with Bombshell palette, and these are neutral colors. The first color I will be using is this. This is the transition color. You pretty much apply that over your lid. Also in the crease area. Next I'm going in with the the go. And you pretty much just pat that on. Next, I'm going in with a little darker color. Well, actually, I'm going to go in with the green. First. And you pat that on as well. And you definitely want to blend it out. Just 
Next, I'm going in with the darker brown. Make sure you blend it out. Next, I'm going to use um, for my other palette, Bombshell Cosmetics. Um, it's more like it's a pale white. And then just a highlight on the knee for eyebrow bone. Then I'm gonna just pop some right here in her teardrop era. And they just open her eyes up. Make sure you blend it out good. Next, I'm going in with some gel liner. I got something for the fellas this time around. Ladies, want you to tell me?
Now I'm gonna add a little bit more of this gold. Or add some of this gold to the um the lid. This one is some lashes. These are not my lashes, but I do have lashes from Bombshell Cosmetic. You always, I always measure the eye, make sure that the lashes can fit. If not, then you have to cut them. Then you make the adjustment as, as needed. So these are pretty much fine. Because she have her lashes or her natural lashes are more curl, you definitely want to um, go in and make it blend more.
Okay, next I'm going in with this is Mac lip liner. Hello. How you doing, baby? You know I was just thinking about you. You know, I'm glad you called. But you coming right over? Beautiful baby. I'll be waiting. <laughs> I love you too. You're all And make sure the lips is always moist. That way your lipstick and your lip liner or lip gloss can glide on good. Next, I'm going with Bombshell Lipstick. This is my favorite. This is in color Cocoa. Next, I'm going to a bombshell foundation, and this is a cream to powder foundation. And you always want to make sure your clients it matches your uh, client skin. And definitely always get your clients net. Next, I'm going in with Max 
sitting powder. You always want to sit your makeup. Once you get done with it, you always want to sit your makeup. 